At this point, it's your fault if you can get your feelings hurt by bitches who don't like you. Y'all be writing to me like, how do I deal with this? How do I deal with it? How do I deal with the other? Girl. 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 Why are you worried about somebody who don't like you? Y'all getting here, getting here, getting here. Why y'all getting in here and putting your questions in here? Let's have a quick chit chat. Why are you worried about people who don't like you? The fact of the matter is they ain't got shit going on in their life. That's why they worried about you. Right? See, in order to not like somebody, you got to think about them. You got to actively put energy into them. Okay? You have to hold a place in their mind. Right? But that don't mean you got to put energy into them. The hell? Why are you worried about it? Why are you conscious of who don't like you? Why do you care? Girl, if you're going to give them any attention, give them pity. Girl, is life so horrible that you got to worry about me? Mm. My goodness. Y'all getting here, getting here, getting here. Some of y'all needed that to lighten up your spirit today. Okay? Fuck that bitch. To all love them. You see what I'm saying? My goodness. Hey, Melba. Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. That's Melba boy, y'all. Who in here? Y'all write your questions in here. You know the deal. You know the drill. I'm going to be on here as long as I feel like it. And when I'm done, I'm done. Okay? You said you've been crying. Your eyes are glossy. Baby, I'm laid up in the bed right now. What you think I was doing? Sleep. I took my afternoon nap. Honey, I don't know y'all. How y'all wake up. I wake up with a glossy eye. Mm-hmm. Write your questions in here. Y'all be asking all kinds of questions. Y'all, y'all must think I just pop up out of bed with a full face on and everything like that. Honey, I ain't got a stitch of makeup on. I ain't got nothing on yet. Okay, so this is me natural, honey. Natural as hell. Okay. Uh-huh. You love my nails. Thank you, babies. Uh-huh. Oh, Lord. Does not giving a damn go for people commenting on who you're dating. Girl, especially that. I don't understand why y'all care about pe- when people be worried about who you dating. This is who you dating. This is who you getting on your back for. Right? Bright Sky has a question. They'll write the question in the window, baby. Mm, hey, Marquise. But yeah, you, people worried about who you dating. Why do you care about it? You laying, you going to bed with them by yourself. I don't care if they like them. Or don't. Oh, they're not the right fit for you. How you know who the right fit for me? And one thing I'm not dealing with is somebody who don't keep a man telling me what kind of man I should have. Right? See, one of the things I made a choice about years and years and years ago, because I've been on camera for a long time. You know, I'll share with y'all the little escapades and funs here and there, fun fun, fun and games every now and then. But for the most part, my life, my dating life has been extremely private, you know? Because I'll hear people say, oh, MJ, you're always single. Okay. Sure, if that's what you need to believe. If that's what you need to believe... Yeah, I'm single. Let's go with that. I'm single. Yeah. Just single. Okay. But for me, I have made a choice over the years that I generally won't include anyone who I'm dating in my content, put them out there in any way, shape, or form for a big reason. Because I don't want y'all fucking mouth about it. Mm Mm-mm. Now, of course, we have our special occasions. You know, we have our fun and games. We have our fun. You know, but mm-mm, for the most part, uh-uh. If I'm really fucking with you and taking you serious, you ain't touching no camera. Right? I'm 38 years old, okay? Live and learn. I don't do that shit no more. Right? Because I don't want nobody's opinion. He too tall. He too short. He too this. He too that. He not this enough. He too much of that. I don't want to hear that shit. Because it's my business. You see what I'm saying? And I don't care how strong you are. If you expose yourself to many opinions uh, at some point in time, it's going to affect the way you view things, right? And so you don't want anyone to affect your choices, right? And so you don't want to put shit out there that's that intimate to you unless you prepare for the opinion. And like, let's say you got friends, family members who got opinions on who you're dating. Tell them to shut up. And ain't they be, oh, baby, I don't like your man. I don't like the song. Thank you, Auntie. I appreciate you. I really do appreciate you. But I didn't ask for your opinion, girl. I didn't ask for your opinion. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I'm not being rude. You being rude for giving me opinions I didn't ask for. Oh, girl, just just hear me out. I don't have to hear you out. I have, I have to hear a motherfucking thing. All I got to do is sit here and do me. All right. All right. 
Exactly. Marquise says, I keep relationships private too, unless I want you to know exactly. It's not nobody's business. It ain't nobody's business. I thought this, I thought that, I thought the other. I thought that, I, I don't give a fuck. I don't. I don't. But God bless you. I don't. God bless you. What's my next question? Um, um, do you only sell life insurance or different types of insurance? Only life, baby. We do life insurance and annuities. Um, how long should I wait um, for a man to take? How long should I wait for a man to take me on a date? It's been a week or it's been a week so far. Girl, why you be waiting on a man to take you on a date? Open your mouth. Girl, I'm honey. Honey, I'm too old to be sitting up here to wait on some man to figure out when he's going to take me out. No, no, no. I'm going to tell you when I want to go out. I'm direct about it. And I'm not trying to run the show, but like sometimes they don't know how to ask. Sometimes they're a little bit shy. Sometimes they are um, afraid of rejection. A masculine man can be afraid of rejection. So here's how I do it. You got to activate him. So the way I believe in activating a man is just say to him, baby, when are you taking me out? Or be, let's be more direct. You taking me out this week? What day? I'm available that day. Okay, cool. I'm looking forward to it. Activate him. And then when he takes you out, make sure that it's an amazing time so that he wants to take you out again. All right? Some of y'all single because you're shy. Y'all won't open your mouth for you believe in old school values about how a man's supposed to act. He's supposed to bring it up. He's supposed to do this. He's supposed to do that. Why? He's just as human as you. He may be afraid of rejection. He may not know where your head is at. You see what I'm saying? I activate them. I activate them. I use my interest to activate them to show me interest. And then once you activate a masculine man, honey, he's going to run with it from there. You ain't got to worry about shit. You, don't, you ain't got to worry about shit. He's going to take care of it from there. All right? Hey, ask Nurse Elise. Um, I'm a widower, eight years now. I want to get back out there. Do you think online is a good start, baby? It's the primary start. This is not 1992. Well, online dating, Lord Jesus, only folks who on there is the weirdos and the crazies. No, this is where everybody's at. Y'all on, this is online dating because y'all, some of y'all be dropping in DMs. You think that just because you dropping in DMs, you're not online dating. Child, only thing that's different is the same a dating website. Get out there. Get your online profile right. Make sure you look good on your on your Instagram because they're going to look you up one way or the other. Make sure you whatever site you want is a good one. Yes, date online. I want to meet people organically. Shut your single ass up. What's that mean? You want me to meet at the grocery store? Y'all go to the grocery store, your job, maybe the gym, and come home. And the same queens who at your job in the grocery store is the same ones who did every day. Girl, expand your palate. Expand what you're exposed to. You see what I'm saying? To my, I don't want to meet nobody online. Oh, so you was going to be single. The Lord going to bring the right one to me. Let's just call it what it is. That's your passive way of saying you're afraid to put yourself out there. So you're using spiritual rhetoric as a way to, to disguise for the fact that you really are just saying, I'm afraid to put myself out there into any venue because I'm afraid of rejection. So therefore, I'm going to try to use spiritual rhetoric as a way to make myself feel comforted for not taking action. And if I don't find a man, then I will say, it's just not my time. No, 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 no. It is your time when you decide to take action. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Don't try me with that stuff, honey. Right? Someone said they had a bad experience with online dating. Girl, people have bad experiences with in-person dating. Do it again. Who said that? That's... Hey, Frida. <laughs> I ain't see your name on there. Girl, do it again. Do it again. I'm going to give you... I'm going to tell you this, too. I didn't know who that was at first. Uh, here's what I'm going to tell you, too. Listen, listen, for real, listen. Because um, I understand that. Who hasn't had a bad experience with online dating? Baby, I give, I give y'all stories. Don't be dropping your pen in your in your own city. For example, let's say for kicks and giggles, you live in Dallas. Drop your online dating pen in Houston. You see what I'm saying? Just to see who's out there. Just to see who's out there. You know what I mean? You know all the players where you at. Sometimes let be fresh meet someplace. Let yourself be fresh meet someplace. 
You see what I'm saying? Drop your pen in Houston. You live in Atlanta? What's close to Atlanta? I don't know what city that's close to Atlanta like that. Shit. Drop it in D.C. I don't know. Would you move for a man, y'all? I would for the right relationship. I would. Um, yeah. She said, I don't fool with online dating. I'm good. Good luck. Good luck to you, my sis. Good luck to you, my sis. People don't need to do online dating if you're the world's greatest extrovert. If you've got a healthy social life and you're constantly in new spaces, meeting new people. Mm. You don't need online dating. All right? Yeah, drop you up in another city. Get some professional photos done for your dating profile. Shit, my, my dating profile got professional photos. The fuck you think I'm doing? Posting a picture of me sitting at a lounge with my friends going like this. Girl, bye. This ain't my damn Instagram page. I'm looking for a man. The hell? No, mine's a professional photos. Hell yeah. That's I do have the advantage of the fact that I film on a daily basis. So, almost daily. So, we're there. I told the photographer, we were, um, we were sitting in Bali, and I told the photographer, I was like, I was like, hey, do some pictures for me. He was like, for real? I was like, he's like, what's this for? I was like, um, my dating profile. He was like, okay, good, good, good. Okay, good, good, good. Sit like this. I was like, how? Sit like this? Like this? He's like, yeah, like pull your arm out because you know your arm looks nice. I was like, I'm going to put my arm right there. My shoulder in it like that. That's me. <laughs> That's my only dating profile. Trying to be cute. It worked. I did do professional photos. The fuck you think I'm doing? Bitch, if I'm going to market any, if I'm going to market skincare products, insurance, pantyhose, whatever it may be, with professional photos, why would I not market me the right way? Right? I'm going to market me the right way. Okay? Now, I'm not saying get yourself all retouched up because you need to look like yourself when he meets you. But I'm just saying, single, almost 40 something, looking for a husband. need a professional photo child can i tell you the, the horror the horror stories the photos i've seen on these dating websites child i'm like you don't have a friend or a gay in your life because you need somebody on your life to say don't post that damn photo your profile look like hot hell okay or you know what the other thing is people be posing, posing photos from different decades right you posting a photo from your fat decade from your skinny decade Okay, from your cute decade, from your toe down decade. I get that you're trying to be transparent, but which one are you now? Which one is this? Is the most recent one? She said, get snatched. I, I, I'm not losing no weight for no doggone online dating profile. You're going to see me as I am. You're going to see the best version of me as I am today. You see what I'm saying? I ain't going to no dad to take no damn photo. Because, girl, can, are you going to sustain that? That's my thing. You're going to sustain that. I know for damn sure I ain't sustaining that. I ain't putting up no online dating profile with no six pack. What for the two days a year I got a six pack? Hell no. Nah. You expecting to get that? No, you better like this old two pack and be happy with that. Shoot, but I'm gonna make sure I look good for what I look at this point. You see what I'm saying? You give me free to, for how I look now. You know, that's what I'm gonna do. Mm-hmm. Sure am. Sure the hell. Yeah. Shoot, you better put your ass online and quit playing. All right, who was the other day told me? Sis just told me the other day, this girl just told me that she been with her man for, shit, what was it? Five, six years, met him online. Sure did. Sure did. Uh-huh. Let me see here. Oh, you said getting snatched means taking a great picture. That's right. Yeah, take a great picture. You're right. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm not a six-pack kind of girl. I'm not a six-pack kind of girl. Okay? This, this cake itch, now she's year-round. So if you want to see anything in the picture, you might see this cake itch. I'm going to show you whatever's forever. You see what I'm saying? And whatever's forever is this good cake itch. Okay? Does age matter? Nope. As long as y'all grown, not... Let me give a caveat. Okay? I'm 38 going on almost 40. Okay? Be 40 in two years. But let's just stick where I'm at right now. I'm 38. I ain't the oldest one. I ain't the youngest one. If you got a two in front of your age, 20-something, baby, you got to be real mature. You got to be real mature. Am I saying I'm against dating a 20-something? No. Okay? But you got to have something else other than some hardwood. You see what I'm saying? Because that's what they be having. You got to have you got to have something else going on with you. You see what I'm saying? You got to be mature. 
Okay, because one thing I can't do is raise no man. Okay, I'm not raising no man. All right, these young ones be on some other stuff sometimes. All right, they don't even lie right. You see what I'm saying? You know, sometimes you got to tell a little bit of a lie just to protect your man's feelings. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not talking about no, like you cheat on nothing crazy like that. But you know, like sometimes you don't need to tell them everything. That's not even a lie. You don't need to tell them everything. Sometimes you just got to be cautious about what you share, especially if you just getting to know somebody. You know, you got to just kind of keep your business to yourself. Or, or be, be these young ones don't know how to tell. To, to, you went out on another date with somebody else. Just say it. Just say it. Child, we don't know each other like that. You went on a date with somebody else. Be like, well, I, I was, uh, I went to the, uh, to to the pharmacy for four hours, for four hours. Okay. I went to, um, I was, I was, I fell asleep early. You fell asleep at three p.m. and then wake up until the next day at eight at, at eight a.m. Boy, bye. You was fucking. That's okay. You're not mine. That's okay. I'm not mad at you for doing what single people do. I'm mad that you lied to me the wrong way about it. You see what I'm saying? Don't be lying to me the wrong way. You see what I'm saying? Because the reality is, I'm going to do the same shit. Until we commit, I'm doing the same shit. And I'm older. I'm big grown. Okay? Big grown with, big grown with, with, with disposable income grown. You see what I'm saying? Where the grown girls with disposable income? Okay, we're going to do us. We're going to do a cute. You see what I'm saying? We're going to do a real cute. We, 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 I'm on the rooftop. I went to the rooftop. Okay? With Laquan. Laquan took me to the rooftop last night. You see what I'm saying? We went, we went out to the rooftop. See what I'm saying? We went to the day party. He took me out. K- took me to the vineyard and stuff. You see what I'm saying? Where was you? I was at the, I went, I went out. I, this is how you handle it. Where was you at this weekend? I had a wonderful weekend. Really, what did you do? Well, a great friend of mine took me to the vineyard. That was just really nice. It was sensational. How about you? What'd you do? Did I lie? No. Did I say that Laquan took me out? Okay, and and, 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 and gave me a wonderful weekend? No. Why? Because we all single. We date and we get to know each other. But the young men, they don't know how to handle you. Be lying about the wrong stuff. You was not at your grandma's house all weekend. Boy, bye. So anyway, no. Does age matter? Mm. Maturity matters. Maturity matters. Maturity matters. Exactly, um, Aletha. A great friend. A, a, a great friend took me out. We went out. And don't ask no dumb questions either. You dating him? Now listen, I'm an exclusive kind of girl. Who's an exclusive kind of girl? Hands up, you're an exclusive kind of girl. Okay, my nose itch so bad. And I want to stick my finger right in there and just go, ah, but I can't do that because y'all sitting right here, okay? Don't act like you don't want to do it either. Or sometimes all you need is a good, uh, okay, my nose itch so bad. But listen, um, I'm an exclusive kind of girl. And what I mean by that is this, okay? Hold on, y'all. I got to, I guess, got to get it. My nose, okay. Oh, God, it's right there on the tip, right there on the tip. Um, it's like a little hair. Um, so, um, with that said, if I like a guy, you don't have to fight me to be exclusive with you. I'm exclusive with you before we even say it. Okay? All right? And this is something about a man. Well, I, I just know if I like a man, I'm not, I'm not giving no time to nobody else. Okay? Literally, all of the options drop off the face of the earth in my mind when I like you. Hands up. Hands up. That's what I'm saying. So, if I like you, all of the options disappear. Right? But if I don't fuck with you like that, I'm keeping my options open because I did that stuff when I was a young broad. When I was a young broad, I used to literally cut off all options too soon, right? And I wasn't even, I, I was just, I like you, I like you. Just one little roll around, I didn't cut off everybody. No, if I, but, so I don't want to do that. But at this stage of my life, I don't have no time to waste and I don't got no games to play. So if I like you for real, for real, I'm cutting off all the options before we even talk about it. I'm going to do that, right? And I would only do that with a man who I know is going to do that for me. You got to feel that out. Make sure you really know that before. You, don't be cutting off stuff, you know, until you know that. But sometimes that energy is just not there. Sometimes the chemistry is just not there. You know, it takes time for that. And so if the chemistry is just not there, then be comfortable with the idea of, of exploring your options. You ain't got to open your legs to all of them. But ain't nothing wrong with exploring your options until you find an option that works for you. 
you know? And I think it's just about being mature enough to know how to have that conversation, okay? Let me see here. You say, what is a good dating website? Well, I'll let y'all recommend one to each other because I ain't got paid by one of them. So um, I can't recommend one. Y'all got y'all recommend them amongst yourselves in the comments. I'm going to read y'all's comments too so I can decide which one I like. Okay. Um, how to sense a man who's seriously... Okay. How do you know if a man is serious versus just wants to be casual? Is it okay to let a guy know how long I've been single? Um, if he asks, why not be, why not answer it? But how do you know if a man is single or just wants to be casual? Ask him early. Men tend to answer more questions honestly when you ask them in the beginning before they know what you want. But ask him, baby, what you looking for? What you looking for right now? Right? Um, or another way of asking that's not less intimidating because what you're looking for can be a little intimidating for some people or they don't know how to answer it. Um, if they don't know how to answer it, then that already lets you know what they're looking for. Nothing. But, um, another way to ask it is, um, at this point in your life, what does dating look like for you? What does dating look like for you? That's one way to ask it. Right. Um, girl, the one you, that's a sugar daddy site. The one she just named on there. I'm reading it right now. That's a sugar daddy site. Uh-huh. Because back when I was a young broad. Let me shut up. Anyway. <laughs> that's a sugar daddy site. Uh-huh. That's what they there for. I'm just saying. All right. Um, Troy said, why are you single? Why do you assume I am? though um at this stage um mm, i dated i've had fun okay and at this age 38 with a couple dollars in my pocket baby still got this cute mug still got this old body here oh baby the body's cute okay I just feel like, why jump into something until I want to be in it? Back when I was young, like some of y'all, I used to think that my value and my worth was tied to if I had somebody to call my man. Ooh, if I don't have somebody to call my man, something's wrong with my life. <sighs> Girl, bye. Uh-uh, at this age, you get older, honey. Honey, I done had men's. I done had husbands. I done had what I needed to have. And I'm not against having that at this point in my life. But you hit a certain age. And girls, put your hands up and say amen if you agree. You hit a certain point in your life and you just be like, if I'm going to share this old king-size bed with somebody consistently, baby, you better bring more than just some pipe. You better bring peace. Okay? You better bring, you better bring purpose. All right? So in the meantime, mother can live her life and enjoy her life just fine. Just fine. Just fine. Because y'all young bras who be chasing a man, y'all put more energy into a man than you put into your career. And I'm not talking to the person who wrote that question. I don't know them. You know what I'm saying? But y'all be putting your more energy into a man than you put into your career. Right? Oh, every time. Every time I look at what's wrong. Oh, child. He ain't treat me right. Child, I'm going through this. Ooh, my drama in my dating life. And y'all ask me. Y'all say, auntie, what's going on with you? Girl, I'm trying to figure out. Am I going to spend summer in... In Malaysia, Bali, or or maybe I'll just sit in Brazil this year. That's mother's challenges. But you, what about having a man? Child, they got men everywhere. They got them everywhere, honey. Uh huh. They got them everywhere. Trust me, I'll be fine. And, and they can come with you. They can come with you. They sell extra plane tickets. You tell them. You meet somebody. You like, well, baby, I'm. I'm Baby, I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling being here this week. I'm going to be in so-and-so. I'm going to so-and-so whatever day. You coming? Okay. Come with. Okay? I'm on an auntie energy. Okay? You see what I'm saying? Uh-huh. That's what I'm saying. Honey, I put too much energy in the men back in the day. So, yeah. She said, the men in Brazil, fine. Girl, I need to go. I need to go. I've not been. I need to go. All right? Uh, girl, they look so tired after being, or exactly, been with these men for umpteen years and be looking tired of war out. Talking about why ain't you got a man? Girl, because I don't want to look like you. 
I don't want to look like you. Now, let me preface this by saying I'm open to dating. I'm open to having a relationship. At this point in my life, I'm definitely open to it. For the right man, I'm not on no player shit. Like, for the right man, I'm willing to get in one. I'm just not willing to just jump in one for the sake of jumping in one. You see what I'm saying? Because some of y'all got to understand, it's not hard for some of us to get a man. You pretty with some good cat. You're going to get a man. Okay? Oh, honey. You're going to get a man. Okay? Girl, it ain't hard to find a man. Some of y'all, I want to ask you, why are you not single? Y'all be worried about when I'm going to get a man. I be worried about when you're going to be single, girl. Okay? When you're going to be single. Your self-esteem is in the same place it's in today that it was in when you was 13, girl. Your emotional intelligence, the emotional maturity is stunted by the fact that you put more energy into trying to find and maintain relationships than put energy into you. Your career is nowhere near where you imagined it to be. Back when you was 18 years old and you was picturing what you want your life to look like, girl, your life don't look nothing like it. You don't put more energy into men than you don't put into yourself. If I, if I looked at your physical appearance and how much energy you put into taking care of that body, girl, clearly you don't make yourself a priority. But you always got a man. And you winning, huh? Talking about, well, I always got a man, huh? huh. But, do, but, 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 but was that the right place to put all your energy? I mean, was it really? No shade, no tea. Okay. Because us girls who don't mind being single every now and then, girl, we be winning sometimes. No shade, no tea. All right? To the single aunties out there, girl, y'all need to stop having shame about it. Check your bank account, girl. Check your bank account, girl. The single, the single aunties be having it right. That don't mean we, we never date, but it means we, we're okay with our own company when we need to be by ourselves. Okay? The single aunties, the girls who don't mind... Girl, don't we be having the best experiences? Because the married girls be calling us and be like, girl, what you do this weekend? Because you want to vicariously live through us? And that's okay. We don't mind. Girl, let me tell you. Okay, and it ain't even always about no host stuff. Okay, sometimes just it's just, girl, I spent the weekend in bed watching YouTube and eating Popeyes. For some of y'all, that's a fantasy. All right? That's why Future said, that's me and not a shame. Amen. Amen. Because we have the freedom to live the way we want to live. You see what I'm saying? A man get on my nerves. Girl, I'm not talking to him. He got, you, you, done, you done crossed some boundaries I ain't told you not to cross. You done done some stuff I ain't told you not to do. I done tried to work with you on this and you still doing it. Baby, I'm just done. But you stuck with him. You stuck with that man. You just stuck. I don't want that kind of life. Uh-uh. Right? We have far less headaches. All right? We have far less headaches. Child, back in the day, the girls used to try to shame me. You know, I'm, I'm in the relationship advice industry. That's what I do. I'm in the self-help industry. But a big part of, of what's made me very um, known has been relationship advice, right? And relationship advice is not just dating advice. You know, it's, it could be interpersonal advice from how to deal with your boss to how to deal with dating. But dating is a big topic, you know? And for me, because the core of what I teach is about femininity advice, teaching you how to use your femininity to get what you want. Rather, I call it out or not, that's what I'm teaching you girls. You see what I'm saying? You always had that one person write in, or 50 people write in, what you got to share? You single. You don't, until you got, until you had your man for 20 years, like I've had mine. I don't want to hear from you. Then you go to her page. Girl, girl, girl. Judging by that body, clearly you weren't happy. Because anybody who loves himself ain't going man- to manage themselves looking like that girl. Okay, judging by your profile, looking at that man and how y'all sit beside each other like two brothers, y'all have no intimacy. I can tell through your photos. He ain't touched you in years. All right. I can tell by your photos that he sleeps on the couch. He don't just fall asleep there while watching TV at night. He doesn't want to be in the bed with you because he's not attracted to you, my dear. I can tell. Girl, I don't want your life. All right. Girl, no. I say this much. I say this much. I say this much. I say this much. I'm a believer. I'm a believer that relationships have a season. And we all want to believe that season is going to be forever. We all want to believe that. We all want to believe that our relationship season. I'm trying to get this shadow out of my face. We want to believe that season is going to be forever. But the girls. Who will stay in a relationship past its expiration date always claim that they're an expert on relationships. Oh, girl, I'm going to tell you how to keep a man. No, you want to tell me how to tolerate a man, right? Because I would rather take advice from a girl who's had a couple of really great relationship escapades, experiences, all of the above. 
Because she knows how to, she knows when to come, she knows when to go. She knows what works for her, she knows when it doesn't work for her. She knows when the season starts, she knows when the season ends. I want to take advice from her. Because the fact of the matter is, she's living her best life. She's not living a life based on old expectations, based on old values, based on things that don't work for her. She's living her best life. You see what I'm saying? Versus this one over here. I've been with Johnny for 45 years. Girl, well, Johnny done got two other women pregnant. We don't talk about that, okay? Um, We don't talk about the fact that you and Johnny ain't been sleeping in the same bed forever. Okay, it's not just because Johnny snores. It's because of the fact that y'all are not attracted to each other no more. We don't talk about the fact that Johnny get on your nerves. Okay, and if you had to really spend, if it wasn't for y'all both having a job and not having to be home with each other, if y'all had to be home with each other, y'all damn near want to knock each other out because the pandemic almost ruined y'all's relationship because y'all can't be around each other. Okay, let's not talk about that. Okay, so for me, I'm a big believer in do what works for you. Do what works for you, right? I'm not here for no for no long girl bag. Get out of here. Live your life. Live your life. Uh huh. What's my next one? Um. How do you manage dating multiple people? Um. She says I'm up front. She says should I be up front or just don't answer the question on my next date? Dating multiple people. So let me let me full disclosure. I'm not great at dating dating multiple people. Right. I generally, I skew to, am I open to the idea that when you single, you single? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm I'm open to that, right? And at times I've practiced that. You know, if I like you, I'm going to go out with you this day, go out with this person that day. That's cool. But it's a difference between going out, like going on dates with different people and dating multiple people. Dating is when you're consistently going on dates, when you're consistently being around someone, when you're giving intimacy to people on that level. I'm not good at that. I can go on dates with multiple people, but not be serious about any of them. But the minute that I start to feel serious about one of them, I cannot go on dates with multiple people. Right? Right? Boo says she unfollowing me. Let me do it for her. I just, I'm sorry. Let me just block her right quick. Block her right quick. She said she unfollowing me. Girl, that's an easy way to get blocked. Easy. Anyway, so I'm not good at that. Right? And so, with that said, um, you know, I love, uh, honey, Instagram spazzed out on us with this. Well, you can block them and block all the other pages that they may create. Yikes. Do that. That one. That's how you got to handle it, okay? But anyway, girl, Karen, if you don't take your ass somewhere the fuck else. Y'all get it? You got it. Okay. So, anyway. um, So, um, right. That's like a bitch announce you. I don't like you. Ho, I didn't ask you. And what gave you the unmitigated sense of, 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 of gall? Gave you the unmitigated gall to tell me you don't like me. The fuck I give a fuck that you don't like me. Go to a therapist with your narcissistic ass to believe that your, that your sense of importance is so high that, that I should give a fuck that you don't like me. The fuck? Right? What the fuck is wrong with you? Girl, take your medicine. Girl, deal with you. Talking about you don't like me, the fuck? Girl, I don't know you. What was I saying? Dating multiple people. Okay. Right? Oh, y'all saw it. Y'all was about to get it. That's what I said. I said, let me just remove her because y'all be vicious. Y'all be vicious. Somebody say some crazy shit in the comments section. Sometimes, you know, sometimes I will go through the comments. I'm telling you the truth. I will go through the comments and when somebody says some real dumb shit, I will delete their comments for them. So I'm like, these girls... These girls, Karen, Karen, these girls, Karen, don't play with these girls, okay? Because Shanice, Rashad, okay, Deborah, they're not going to play with you. They're going to read you for your life, okay? They're going to go through your page, your kids' page, and everything else like that, and then come bringing some. They're going to bring tea to the page. Tell my girl, don't come for MJ until you deal with the fact that your man like men. Girl, they did that one time. I swear to God. Girl wrote some crazy stuff on my page. They went to her page, found so found her man on it. Her man do look real, little, real soft, real sweet, real sweet. Mm-hmm. Pop tart, sweet. Okay, the strawberry pop tart. I'm gonna call her man strawberry pop tart because he look like a strawberry pop tart too. Went to his page and read her life. Read her life. Current sit your behind down. Don't come on my page with that mess. Everybody's welcome here. 
But you no longer welcome when you open your mouth sideways at us. Because my girls don't play. Okay, my girls don't play. They another level. They love us. They, I love them and they love me. And we don't play with each other. All right? Hey, Will Ryan. But yeah, so I believe, like, I can go on dates with different people at different times. But the minute I really, really like somebody and I know they really, really like me, I'm going to cool it on the rest of the people. I can't do that. Right? And it's no conversation. It's no announcements. It's just I'm not available. It's, I'm not available. Don't tell everybody you done dating them. Just don't be available while you figuring out this situation. And if it works. Then you have the conversations with everybody else. But don't be canceling your other options too soon. Because it could just be a fling that's lasting a long time. You see where I'm going? But once you know, once you know, no, girl. So for me, I can't date multiple people. Like, we can't, I can't be in the bed with multiple people. Like, I can't be in the bed one night with, with this person and the next night with that person. I, I'm not like that. I can't, it's not even like, when I say I'm not like that, that has nothing to do with values or nothing like that. that I don't think it has anything. Be you, right? Um, it has more to do with I'm not built that way. And I'm not trying to be graphic or nothing, but the way it goes down in my bedroom, I can't have that. I can't have multiple energies up in my spirit, if you know what I mean. Okay. All right. Now, maybe if I was doing the other things, then I could, you know, dip it everywhere. Right. But uh, uh-uh. the way the way I handles it in my room, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. I can't be receiving energies from multiple people. Okay. You got me. All right. I'm talking about energy, just energy. All right. Exactly. And that's the other thing. Well, Brian, I catch feelings so easily. So if we if we doing that. OK. And maybe catching feelings too, girls. Y'all got to be careful. My grandma. That's what my grandmother told me years ago. Girl, because back in my 20s, girl, I spent most of my 20s in one relationship or another. All right. I was always in somebody's relationship. Right. And they were quick. And I was like, Grandma, I don't. I was just breaking up with this guy because it didn't work. And I was like, Grandma, I don't know why it keeps on not working for me. Blah 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 blah. blah. Right? Let me cover my girls. And she was like, I was like, Grandma, I don't know what it is. And she's like, Cause you always got a man. I was twenty something when she did that. I was like, What you talking about, Grandma? And she was like, uh, My lips are so dry. Um, she was like, Um, oh, let me get my some for my lips. Um, she was like, let me tell you what she told me. Let me put this down. Hold on real fast, okay? Because I got something on my lips, honey. My lips are so dry, okay? Y'all ain't tell me nothing. Y'all ain't tell me nothing. Okay, y'all are raggedy. Let me give me a piece of gum, too. Y'all be like, MJ, don't pop gum on camera. Girl, kiss my ass. Oh, she might go. Okay? Um. Mmm. What's the word? Mmm. I can't stand when somebody's smacking. Girl, I ain't gonna ask you. No, she said... She said, um, she said, you always, she said, she said, the problem is you make these men want to marry you too fast. I said, what you talking about? I don't be doing nothing, grandma. I swear to you, I don't be doing nothing. Uh-huh. I knew me and my grandma was talking about everything. And she said, um, Betty said, my lips are fine. Thank you, Betty Hernandez. And she said, uh-uh. She said, let me tell you where you go wrong. She said, said, let me play it out for you. I said, go ahead, play it out for me. You go on a date with a man. I was like, I do. Uh-huh. What happened after that date? Nothing. I go home, he go home. Uh-huh, no, no, second date. Tell me about that second date. I said, I invite him over to my house. Uh-huh. And what you do when you invite him over to your house? I cook for him. I'm not ordering no food if he coming to my house. Right, that's how I was when I was young. And baby, I can cook. Okay? Y'all be thinking the little skinny girls can't cook. Girl, bye. Okay? That's my metabolism. My metabolism ain't got nothing to do with how I can cook. Uh, so, and so I was like, why well, cook for him? Uh-huh. And then what you do? Be letting him lay up between your legs on the couch while you rubbing on his head. Listening to his goals. Encouraging him. Making him feel good. Uh-huh. And then what? And you give him some cake. You give him some cake, don't you? I give him say coochie. You give him some coochie, don't you? I do. I sometimes. I mean, he at my house. I mean, it happens. And I don't know how to go fifty percent. I don't know how to go fifty percent. I don't know how to hold back. Okay. I don't know how to do it. Okay, y'all. Can I get an amen to the girls who know? We don't know how to hold back. 
Okay? I'm old school. All right? Honey, I'm a founding member of the Global Good Coochie Committee of America. Okay? I'm a member emeritus of, of the Global Council, too. Okay? I don't know how to hold back. Okay? Y'all girls be laying there like a dead piece of fish. All right? Not me, honey. Not me, honey. I'm from an old school. You know how back in the day with the old school things like the Supremes and stuff like that? They taught them how to perform on the stage. And the new school girls just do a doo-wop, pop, pop. No, I'm, 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 a, I'm an old school girl. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I was, I was, I'm in the Destiny's Child era of good coochie. You see what I'm saying? You know how Beyonce and them used to always give a good performance no matter what? You know how much Beyonce, Shell, and, and, and Kelly, they would give a good performance no matter what? It didn't matter what it was. They could be out there, it could be negative 30 degrees performing in Times Square, honey. Like, it's so cold out there. And they'd be out there in, in, in Stiletto Hills. Doing a full dance routine for an hour and a half. That's my training. Okay? You see what I'm saying? I'm not an auto-tune kind of girl when it comes to the cooch. I've never been. I've never been. All right? And that's what fuck us up. You cook for these men. You encourage these men. And then you give them that good snatch. Girls. Girls. We don't know what to, and that's how I always in a relationship. Be the next day and that man laid up on me talking about some. So, uh, you with anybody else? Curtis, it's our second date. Yeah, you, 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 I mean, you know, you talking to anybody else? You know, I mean, like, you know, I mean, I'm not saying you gotta, you gotta, uh, be just with me. I'm just saying, like, I was curious, you with anybody else? Listen to my ass. This, this was when I was a young broad. I didn't know how to. I didn't know how to set boundaries with men, right? So I'd be like, I mean, like, I'd be like, no. I was I really with anybody else? No, I was only with him because I liked him because I was that girl, right? No, I mean, I'm not like with nobody else, but you know. Oh, for real? So, uh, so what you doing tomorrow? What you mean? What I'm doing tomorrow? I mean, I mean, like, you know, I'm. I was gonna come by after work tomorrow. Just chill out. You know what I mean? Like. I ain't got nothing going on. Just want to chill out with you. Just trying to get to know you. Just trying to, just trying to vibe with you. Just trying to vibe with you. Right? That's code for... You know what that's code for? You got some good coochie. Your house is nice and pretty. Girl, my house be pretty. Be smelling good. My house be smelling good. Clean bathroom all the time. Always got my clean towels. Home feel like home for me. Honey, my home is... Honey, Listen. I always been like that. Even when I was in college. All right. I had my first apartment in college. It was like $400 a month. I was subletting it from this girl. Right. Because she moved away. And I need to get an apartment. I didn't want them to run a credit check. Because I ain't had no credit. So she subletted it to me. So I used to take over her lease. Honey, I went down to Ikea. I messed up a cute little bed. Some nice floral blankets and stuff like that. Nice lamps. Some Got some cute curtains and stuff like that. Silverware. I got the cute shit in there. My home is always feels like home. Okay? Always feels like home. Bathroom is always nice and stuff like that. Always clean. Make sure your toilet and your tub is always clean. Men check. You know what I'm saying? House always smelling good. All right? I don't play. Men be feeling like home. You ain't got to have a lot of money. That little place was tiny. All right? But men love that. Right? And so when they want to come back the next day, it's because they feel like home. You're making your home feel like home, and they just want to rest in it. They just want to rest up in it. Now, you know how you know how you really got them, right? You know how you know you really got them, girls? And you know that when, when you know when your coochie game is real good. Let me tell you how you know. Because you don't cook for him, and you look up. Like, where the hell did he go? Where did he go? Copy your girls. Where is he at? Where did Laquan go? And then next, you know, you hear your door rattling. He coming in the back door. Laquan, where was you? Oh, I just took the garbage out. This is a garbage out. Yeah, I saw it was overflowing. I took the garbage out. Yeah, and you know that knob in your bathroom? Um, I tightened it up. It was a little, it was a little loose. So I tightened it up. When he started taking the garbage out and fixing stuff in your house, girl, it's, you done. You done. Wrap it up and put a ring on it, baby. All right? When a man starts, it happens. They can't fix shit the right way, but they're going to try. When he starts fixing shit, girl, uh-uh. Your coochie game too good. Your coochie game too good. So grandma had to teach me when I was a young broad. 
And now I'm an old broad and I know better, right? She had to teach me to ration it out. Uh huh. Because I don't know how to do nothing less than the best. All right? The way, the way this here body is stacked up, the way this here girl is built up, all right? All right? I don't know how to do nothing better, less than the best. You see what I'm saying? So I learned I had to ration it out. I got to ration it out. Which means, girls, listen. Don't be letting that man up in your house too soon. Okay? Don't be going to his house either. I don't know about y'all. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is just me. I don't. Somebody said, get to my question. Girl, I'm on a, I'm on a flow. Okay? I'm going to get to it in a minute, though. I remember your face. I'm going to try to find it. Um, I don't like the idea of going to man's house too early. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I prefer to have him in my house. And not, don't have him there the first day. But I'm saying, like, in the beginning... Uh-uh. I don't like going to their house too early. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You don't know what they be having up in their house. Somebody's going to be filming you. They be having cameras. I'm so worried. I heard about that. What happened to one of my friends? Now, first of all, my friend is a beast, okay? We come from the same trainer, okay? Like I said, we just need child girls. Got me? Okay. We the Supremes, okay? We went through the Motown School of Training. You know what I'm saying? All right? But still, I saw her video. I was like, I said, girl, is that you? She's like, yeah, he filmed me, and I didn't know. I said, well, your face really isn't visible, but girl, that arch, that arch in your back, girl, I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, it's good. I do yoga. I was like, mm mm-hmm. girl, girl, you good. Damn. Yeah, she got filmed. She didn't even know it. Uh-uh. So my thing is, if you're going to be grown, grown, don't let anybody in the house unless you really know them. Unless somebody else know they there too. And also, um, yeah, make sure you're in an environment where you feel safe and comfortable. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'll be still here. All right. Oh, hold on. My, where my shit at? Hold on. Mind y'all's business. Hold on. Um, somebody said answer your question. Let me find your question. Um, what do you think about younger women dating older men? My boyfriend and I are 18 years apart. Girl, get that pipe and, and shut up asking me these questions. Live your life, baby. I don't mean no harm. Live your life. Live your life. Now, my thing is, I could date, you know, a young, a young adult man. I could do that. I could do that. But I can't raise him. I can't be raising no man. All right? Uh-uh. The minute I see traits in you that remind you of one of my kids... I'm good. Excuse me. Poor communication. Um, if I see poor communication, immaturity, uh-uh. I think it's different. When you got young sons, it's hard. Because first of all, I'm like, oh, you young. You remind me of my kids. The minute I feel like I feel like you remind me of my kids, then I'm done. It's just I can't. That just fuck with my head. You know what I'm saying? Or you do some behavior. But if you mature, fine. Hold on, I'm laughing at somebody. <laughs> Mind your business. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm a bit typing on the computer. Hold on. Girl, commercial break. Somebody just texted me, I need to respond. Okay. I love that they can put WhatsApp on the computer. That way I can talk to y'all and still text back. So I used to be on live and I couldn't text nobody back. I'd be seeing the messages pop up and like, shit, I got to go. I got to go. Hold on. LOL. <laughs> you are so crazy. Where's the little button at? I want to put the little button. Okay. Oh, here's just the emoji button. Where's it at? That one. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay. I responded. Mind your business, girl. It's Sunday. Sunday fun day. Okay. <laughs> Where's my next question? Mind your fucking business. Someone's telling y'all shit. Let me see here. Um, I struggle with setting boundaries like you did. What's, um, what's the good way to tell them you're not ready without offending them? Or something you're not ready for sex or relationship? What? Any of them. Um, 
Um, she, I'm gonna say, um, so a good way to tell somebody you're not ready. Um, first of all, when it comes to the to the um to giving the, the china the cool china, um, um, the way that I will do that I do it is because I'm at, I really don't be like for me sometimes you just want intimacy and like a little hug or whatever but I don't want to be doing all that I don't want to be giving up the cooch all the time and so that's just me but so a uh, one way to do it is just to put it out there up front all right take crazy Miss Donna you put it out there up front okay. Um, he coming by the house or whatever. You comfortable enough having him in your house or you going by his house or whatever, or you're in an intimate setting. Um, it's about there for, I'm straight up about it. Now you say it playfully, but say it. And then, uh, let me just say it. Do be like, you know, oh, come on. Come here. He start hugging up on you, kissing up on your neck and stuff like that. And you just say something like, baby, you're not going to, me. well, baby, you're not in me tonight. You not get me tonight. I ain't even trying to do that. I know what's on your mind. We not doing that tonight. Now, some men take that as a challenge. They're going to try. That's cool. I'm going to hold this boundary. Okay? Mm-mm. We're not doing that. I told you when you first came in here. He's like, oh, he'd be like, can I come back? You can. But we're not doing nothing. Oh, just put it out there. We're not doing nothing. I'm, a, I'm not even trying to do nothing. Come on, I'm just trying to come by. Okay, I'm just letting you know up front. But come on by. And men love those boundaries. Men love boundaries. Y'all be scared to give them boundaries, but men love boundaries. They need them. Right? Or if he's trying to push you into a relationship and you're not ready yet, and you're like, come on, baby, when you going to be mine? And you let him know. This is how you let him know. Listen, baby. I take you seriously. I respect you. Okay? And be real with him. Right now, I'm not ready to uh, for us to commit to that just yet. I feel like we are heading in that direction, but I'm not there yet. So you're going to be patient with me? Ask him that. You're going to be patient with me? Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Just give it time. You. What I need to do, keep being the man that you are. Because that's what got me here. And that's what's going to keep me here. Don't change up nothing. Right? That's how you do it. Um, Exactly. Men respect you much more when you have boundaries. Hold back. It's a turn on. The aunties be trying to teach y'all. And you young girls don't be listening. You be cracking your legs open for every man who smile at you. And then wondering why they leaving you tomorrow. Because you opened your legs too fast. Men, especially immature men... Girl, they got to have something to chase. They got to have something to chase. And that, I don't like men who need something to chase. I don't want to deal with that shit. But they do need it to chase. You see what I'm saying? I don't like that. But if you're young, you're probably dealing with young men. This is what it is. Um, got to give them something to chase. Got to give them something to chase. Say no. Say no. And don't be trying to tease them neither. Because that's what y'all be getting messed up. You thinking you teasing him, but you getting turned on. And then wondering why you end up hemmed up. Okay? End up with your ankles on your ears. Talking about I was teasing him. Girl, no you wasn't. Because you ain't got no self-control neither. And neither do he. Okay? See y'all two folks with no self-control. Alright? Don't be trying to tease them. Stop trying to tease these men. Okay? Y'all end up pregnant from teasing. Okay? Alright? That's what I'm saying. Uh-huh. Uh-uh-uh-uh. Let me see. I'm just reading my stuff. Okay. Mind y'all's business. Okay. What do you do when your partner is older and has erectile dysfunction but doesn't want to fix it for you or him, but you've been in a relationship for 13 years? I just had this conversation. It's someone who asked me this question. Yes, your ankle's on your ears. All right? Um, but, you know, somebody had just asked me this question. Um, hold on. Y'all, I'm sorry. I'm distracted real fast. My computer fan is going to be loud as hell. I got to put this phone down real fast. Let me, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm living my life. Okay. He's outside of working hours. So me being on here is a courtesy today. Let me write this back. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-mm-mm. Okay. You better get that man some attention. Quit playing with me. Um, and so, anyway. Okay. What was I just talking about? I forgot, girl. I let me go to my next question. You said, who that MJ distract? Who distracted me? God. Hey, my God. My God, my God. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, erectile dysfunction. I'm sorry, that was a big one. We had to deal with this. Um, I mean, it can naturally happen to people. A lot of times it is connected to lifestyle choices, dietary choices, medical choices. So if someone's not willing to get it treated, I don't know how we can have a long-term relationship. That's just me. Oh, MJ, he just sick. No, no, no. I'm not breaking up or ending the relationship because of your physical restriction. It's your lack of willingness to get it treated that's the issue. How can you have a fulfilling... Intimacy is primal. He was like, oh, it's not important. It's not everything. It's not everything, but it is important. So if you are willing to sacrifice... This massive part of our relationship, just because you don't want to get something addressed. Because what would it be like if, if the shoe was in reverse? Or if you had some type of vaginal issue that prevented you from being able to comfortably engage. I mean, he ready. And you've been telling on all the time, it's no, we can't, no, we can't, no, we can't, because you, you can't do it. Eventually, he's going to get tired of that. It's going to cause issues in other parts of the relationship. So it behooves you to go get that addressed. Because you need to be able to show up for all aspects of your relationship. Right? So if you don't want to get that addressed, first and foremost, is, it really, is that really the issue? Is that really the issue, first and foremost? Right? So sometimes he don't have enough steam in that pipe. Because that pipe already done let out the steam. You didn't hear me. Okay. He not willing to go get it medically addressed because it's not a medical issue. I'm not saying that's your situation. I'm not saying that's your situation. I'm just saying it's something for the other girls on here to consider. Okay. All right. Because I'm going to make sure my honey pot is always right. My honey pot's going to always be right. Ain't no way. Because I'm a monogamous kind of girl. So if I'm going to ask a man for monogamy and agree to monogamy myself, I need to make sure that my honeypot is always right. Right? That's just me. Hey, Miss Gilliam. Am I naked? Girl, I got a towel on. Uh, uh, a sheet on. What you call the thing? Okay. What if he has a girlfriend, but he wants to lay up with you all the time? Girl, he ain't laying up with me none of the time. Ain't no way you got a wife, girlfriend, husband, nobody at home and laying up with me to hell all the time. None of the time. Girl, a man will never respect you. Listen to me when I say this because y'all don't want to hear it. A man will never respect you when you knowingly let him in your bed and in your body when you know that he got a woman at home. A man will never respect you. Never. Right? He may enjoy your, your kitty. He may enjoy time with you. He may even tell you he love you. But you can love somebody and not respect them. That happens every day of the week. <laughs> love ain't got nothing to do with it. He will never respect you. Right? A man will never respect you. Listen. He will never respect you. When you let him lay up with you. Knowing that he got somebody else. Huh. Girl. Mm-mm. If all you want is It's just that Then fine I'm not here to shade you I'm not here to shade you For doing you So if you're okay with it only being that If you're okay with him only valuing What's between your legs And not valuing your heart Your mind and your spirit Then do it I'm not here to shade you Or shame you I really am not But I'm here to call a thing a thing And please Okay Don't be dumb and fall in love with him either. If you want to do that with him, let me be real with y'all. Because I know some of y'all going to do it anyway. So let me at least educate you on it. And I'm not that girl to do it, but I will educate you. Okay? First. 
you do not text him, call him, FaceTime him, video call him. You don't do nothing. There's no interactions, no dates, no dinners in between your um, engagements with him. Okay? Period. Why? Because you don't want to get attached to him. And he definitely ain't getting attached. Don't let him get attached to you. That's rule number one. We don't communicate outside of that. If you want, if you want to be with a married man, and that's what it is, number one. Two, two, are you ready for number two? Then listen close. If you're going to mess with a man who's married or got somebody at home, this is my first one. Don't engage. It slipped my mind that fast. I don't be doing this. I'm trying to pull this back to my head. Um, don't engage my. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. No spending the night. He should never spend the night. I don't care if it's icy outside and it's four o'clock in the morning. He better call a helicopter to take him home. He cannot spend the night at your house or vice versa. Sleeping together builds intimacy. Nope. Three. I don't care how good it is. Don't you ever part your ashy lips to tell that man you love him. And if he parts his manipulative ass lips to tell you the same thing, don't you dare say it back. I love you. <laughs> Just like this. You kiss your fingers and put that right in his lips. Mm, you're so sweet, baby. He'd be like, you don't love me? <laughs> how can I love a married man, baby? We both know what it is. And we know what it's going to be. Don't waste your love on me, baby. Because that's not what we're here for. Now put your head back. You see what I want? Uh-huh. I don't want to turn him off. Girl, gonna, he going to like you even more. He going to chase you down. Which leads me to number four. Or is it number three? No, that's number four. I hope you're not giving out Kitty for free. Not to no married man. Not to no married man. Not to no married man. Let's just look at the economics of it all. The time that you with him, I know how you girls are. You probably just with him. Right? That's time and energy you're not giving to another man. Time and time that your heart is not emotionally available to other men, no matter what you say. Right? Well, that's a given. Wrap it up. That's a given. But. He's taking you off the market. If he's taking you off the market, don't you deserve to be compensated for that exclusivity? I'm not saying make a transaction. I'm not saying ask for no cash app. But how he coming up in your house and your refrigerator empty and it's not being filled by the time he leaves? How you going to um how you going to Trinidad or Mexico with your girlfriends? And you pay for your own trip. I don't understand that. Girl, if you're going to be his escape, then he needs to pay for your escapes. If you're going to be his fun, then he needs to pay for your fun. If you're going to be his luxury premium experience, then he better provide you with some too. Girl, I don't want no damn pillow talk. You so this, you so that, you so beautiful. Of course I'm beautiful. That's why you want me. Is it prostitution? Baby, no, it's not prostitution. It's value in who you are. And not giving away something of value without getting something of value in return. All right? I'm not saying put a price tag on it. But what I'm saying is I don't understand how y'all get... I don't care if the man married or not. I don't understand how y'all get on y'all back for a man and be broke. How you broke and giving out snatch? I don't understand that. And it's not about asking for the money... How do you how do you allow a man into your life and he sees what you're going through? He sees what's happening in your world and don't offer you cat, dog, nothing. And you laid up with your ankles on your ears. I don't understand that. You coming in my house? Bring something with you. Baby, last time I was here, I noticed you, y'all was low on milk and eggs and toilet paper. He coming with bags. 
All right? Baby, when we was out earlier, your, your car ain't no gas in it. I went and got it filled up. And when I, I went to the store and filled up on the way back. Okay. That's a little bit of something. Baby, I'm going on vacation. You got your ticket already? Uh-uh. I ain't got my ticket yet. All right, I got you. Okay, cool. Thank you. Uh-huh. Quit playing. That's right. <laughs> That's right. I am not. I am not. Child. And I tell y'all, y'all need to go Dutch sometimes. Y'all need to go Dutch every now and then on a date to let them know you don't need his money. But let me tell you this. I don't believe in laying up with somebody else's husband. But if you that kind of girl, and that's just what you want to do, that's cool. You better not ever pay for no meal with that man. Uh-uh. Why should you? His wife got her bills getting paid by him. And she ain't even got to sleep with him no more. You know she ain't sleeping no more because she sleep with his sleep with you. Uh-huh. Girl, bye. Uh-uh. Christmas roll around. Don't you buy him no gift. You are the gift. You ain't give me nothing for my birthday? No. I'm not your wife. Next time he say some shit to you, I'm not your wife. That apply even for a man who ain't. Child, don't be doing too much for these men. Unless he's committed to you. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Um. If a guy fly you out, should you give him some, some kitty? Um. I have a rule of thumb on this. I've always had this rule of thumb in my life. Don't let no man fly you out. And don't go up in his house like that. Unless you are okay with the idea of giving up kitty. That, I'm not saying you have to. Right? I'm not saying you have to. I'm not saying that. And I'm not saying you're obligated to. I'm just saying why put yourself in an uncomfortable situation. Because you know what he's expecting. Well, I, he shouldn't expect that. Blah, blah. Girl, in, in, into reality. Into reality. Men are transactional creatures. All right? If he does something to that extent for you, it's not that he's directly expecting that, but it's that he feels close enough to you or desires you enough to want you close to him. So he's bringing you to him. Why is he flying you across the country to sit and watch Netflix together? You can't be that dumb, right? So knowing what he probably expects or would like to have happen, thank you for the badge, um, Nicole Mayflower, right? Don't let him do that. Unless you are comfortable with all that may come with his expectations. I shouldn't have to do anything with him. You're right. You don't have to do nothing. And keep your behind at home if you're not comfortable with that. Because one thing I don't want for you, because not everybody's raised like you, is I don't want you in a situation where some stuff could happen you don't want to have happen to you. And just pressure situations. You done got flued out. You laid up in the hotel bed he paying for Okay, eating the food that he done paid for, and he he and he applying that pressure, and you don't want to, and you got to deal with fighting somebody off all night. Why do you want to go through that? I'm not saying it's right from the do it. That's dead wrong. You see what I'm saying? But you need to be conscious of saying I don't even put myself in a situation where that is a possibility, right? He <laughs> said so you're gonna get clapped on the balcony. Listen. So, if I'm going to let you fly me out, okay, listen, I come from a different school of training, okay? Like I said, I come from the Destiny's Child Motown school of training. Y'all was known earlier, but you get you get the reference. Y'all get me, okay? I come from a different school of training, okay? You fly me out. If I'm letting you fly me out. Okay, because people are like, MJ, you got money. Why would you let a man fight you out? Girl, because I don't want to spend my damn money. Yes, quit playing with me. Okay. Okay. I'll tell y'all the stories at another time, honey, but trust and believe, honey. Mother did not get to this place in her life just based on her smarts. That was a part of it, honey. But I was smart enough to align to the right men every now and again. You get me? You feel me? You got me. Okay. All right. Let that man help you. But no, for real. Um, 
you flying me out, it's because I like you like that. I'm letting you fly me out. Not the other way around. So I'm prepared. Then come with it, okay? And if you fly me out for a premium experience, I'm going to give you a premium time. You know what I'm saying? All right? I'm going to give you a premium time, okay? You better write a good review for me, too. Okay? That's what I'm saying. These young bras don't know that. Be letting men fly them out and then you laying there like a dead piece of fish. Girl, girl, if you like him, put on a show. Stop acting like that. Put on a show. I'm going to transition to another subject. I'm going to transition to you girls who need to let your hair down. Let down your inhibitions when it comes to these men. Or women. I don't know what you like. You be boring. And I wonder why they don't call you back. That matters. You don't have to. You don't have to do things with them. You have to get to that point. But once you decide you want to be intimate with a man, then do your job. Do your job. See, the aunties will teach you. All right. Look at your grandmother. She been married to your grandfather for sixty years. Got eleven kids. Okay. She don't walk around her stuff hanging out. She wear that same house coat. Okay? 11 kids. Grandma, no. Grandma been handling business. Okay? She know how to treat that man right? I guarantee you. I guarantee you. Okay? Grandma not, was not laying there like a dead piece of fish, honey. That's why granddaddy came home every night on time and gave her the check. She, granddaddy let her, let her give him an allowance. Okay? She knew what she was doing. Okay? You know, my like grandma was a woman of God. She was. She certainly was, honey. And what she was doing to that man in that bedroom was holy. Okay? Okay? You see what I'm saying? 15, 50, been married 56 years with 17 kids. Exactly. She treated him like a king. Check. And she fucked him like a porn star. She did. Okay? You can't picture Ernestine doing that. Trust me. Ernestine was a mess. That's why her hip fucked up today. Y'all be worried like, why grandma's hip so fucked up and granddaddy's knees so fucked up? Because of the nasty shit they used to do. Her hip ain't fucked up from age. It's fucked up from throwing that ass in a circle. You see what I'm saying? All that, all that, um, arch back. Okay? That's why she walked like that. You ever see those old ladies walk? They walk with the big old switch. They booty be switching the other way. From, they, their shoulders going one way and their hips, and their hips going the opposite way. They, be, they got that big old switch, honey. Uh-huh. They've been throwing their ass in the circle so much that they, that they done lost alignment. Their body ain't got the alignment no more. It's like a car that ain't got the alignment right. Uh-huh. Grandma been, th- Ernestine been throwing that ass in a circle. That's how she got 17 kids. Uh-huh. He paid all her bills. She ain't worked one job except for that one time he got laid off and she had to work at the grocery store bagging. But she was bagging groceries just for about two weeks before he got that job. He said, I can't let my Ernestine work. No, nah, I got to keep her home. Make sure she's right for me. Uh-huh. See, you young bras don't know that. Be to be. Uh-huh. Having these men treat you good. And you, ain't, and you ain't handling him the right way. You better handle that man the right way. I guess I'm from the old school trainers. I'm from the old school. Okay? Oh, I had to stop. Child, I'm glad I couldn't get pregnant. I'm glad I couldn't get pregnant, honey. I'd be just like your damn grandmother. Uh-huh. I'd be 38 with about nine kids. Uh-huh. Now I wouldn't be paying no bills. Ain't no way I'm ain't no way I'm carrying your baby and paying and paying these bills. No, no. I'm not paying no bills. Okay, girl, please. I'm glad I couldn't get pregnant. All right? Honey, honey, honey. And so I'm that, that, mm-mm. Let me tell you this, girls, okay? If you got kitty cat, say, if you got good kitty cat, say amen. If right there in here, if you got good kitty cat, say amen. All right? All right? And the, boy, and the boys on here who lay it down the right way, you say amen too, okay? Yes, that's right, that Motown training, okay? Girls, when you got good kitty cat, like we got good kitty cat, we have to be very cautious about what we even, how we let these men even get close to us, Right? We can't even let these men get too close to us until we're ready. Because you know what happened. Hey, that's how these, why these men be stalking y'all. Because your kid cat too good. Mm-hmm. Libra said amen. Melly says amen. Two save queens says amen. 
Vortex Vixen. Amen, amen. She gave me a double amen. My goodness, my God. Cashmere Couture. Amen. All right. Julie Beck. Oh, my. Julie Robeck. My bad. She said amen. I know that's right, Julie. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's what I'm saying. Uh-uh. And see, I'm all for the BBLs and all that other stuff. You do what you got to do to look good, baby. But let me tell you this. Grandma didn't get no, had no BBL. She just knew what to do with that kitty. You know what I'm saying? Treat that man good. Okay, and you know how you know how you know how you make sure your kitty's good, and by your kitty I'm talking about your cat, your actual cat. Okay, make sure you enjoy it. When you enjoy it, he enjoys it. But that goes two ways. Cause you can have the best kitty on earth, but if you're with the man who doesn't know how to make sure you enjoy it, you know what the worst thing, men listen. Can I tell y'all a lesson to the men out here? Please, I need the men to listen. Okay, listen to me, men. Okay. We do not enjoy, and by we, I'm talking about us, the men like me, and the women who likes the men. We don't enjoy it when y'all think y'all know what y'all doing, y'all don't listen to us. This is our body. And they be trying to tell you what you like, right? I got this. I know what I'm doing. You be like, mm, no, lay right here. If I'm moving myself in a different position, that's not suggesting, my brother. Move with me. Because what you're doing ain't working for me. What are these men talking about? Arch your back, arch your back. Baby, I ain't got that much arch in my back. They be wanting you to imitate something that they done seen on some video. I'm like, that girl ain't got no bones in her back. And her stuff's so... It's like throwing a pin down a hallway. I'm not her. I'm not her. I still got grip. You can't do that to me. You can't do that to me. I'm not built like that. You see what I'm saying? So you got to make sure, in order for your, you got to be with a man who respects your kitty. You see what I'm saying? They be want to do stuff like that. I'm like, girl, dude, I'm not, I'm not set like that. Uh-uh. You want to do stuff to me like, do you want, do you want some grip? Do you want some grip? Does he want some grip? Grip come with limitations. Can I get an amen? Grip come with limitations. You see what I'm saying? They want to do stuff to you like you ain't got no grip. Right? That's right. We're right. He said, I listen to mine because I want us to enjoy this moment. That's what I'm talking about. Grip come with limitations. When you want when you want that good that good kitty cat, we come with limitations. You can't be just you, you can't bend me into a pretzel. Uh-uh. 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 You can't do that to me. Uh-uh. I'm not here to imitate that. I know I was talking shit at dinner, but I ain't mean all that. I was talking shit just like you was talking shit. We both be talking shit. But I can't do all that. All right? I just need to steady. Keep your beat. Keep your beat. Keep your rhythm. 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 That's what I'm talking about. I just need some good. Keep your rhythm. That's too fast for me. That, that was too much. So you got to keep your beat. Keep your rhythm. Keep your beat. Keep your rhythm. That's what I'm talking about. All right? Running up me. Running up in me like I'm like, I'm, like, on, I'm like one of the OnlyFans only girls. I respect them, but that's their job. They built for that. I ain't built for that. And then, and then don't have a little bit of cake on you. You know, some of y'all got BBLs. I ain't got all that. You know what I'm saying? But me, I'm the way I'm built. You can be seeing it and they be like, oh, damn. You can't just be running up at me like that. I was, I was, I was bullshitting you. I don't know how when you say you're going to tear it up. I didn't mean that. I meant like gently. Don't, 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 don't just, don't just, don't just knock me down. Don't bulldoze me. Take, take me down one brick at a time. One brick at a time. One brick at a time. You see what I'm saying? I'm that girl. One brick at a time. One brick at a time. I don't need a bulldozer. I ain't built for that. You know what I'm saying? Slow and steady builds the race. Mm. Keep your beat. Keep your rhythm. Keep your beat. Ooh, keep your... And men don't understand that. Oh, if they just kept their beat and kept their rhythm, girls, would we not? Would we not? Some of the best in my life was a man who would keep his rhythm. Just keep your beat. Keep your rhythm. Keep your beat. And sometimes, don't slow it be better. Keep your beat. Keep your rhythm. Slow it. Don't it be better? Mm, girl. It... Oh, jackrabbit self. And don't be doing nothing. But wearing himself out. He wears himself out in two minutes and then spend the next two days apologizing to you. 
I'm so sorry. That don't always happen. Yes, it do. If you're doing it like that, it always happens to you. And I bet these girls don't be calling you back, do they? Because I'm not calling you back. I'm not calling you back. Uh-uh. I'm not calling you back. Now, let me say this. I'm generous. I think the first time when anybody's going to be a little awkward. It's awkward. It's just, we're human, right? But, girls, listen. Uh-uh. There's a way you still approach this thing. All right? You can't be approaching me like that. All right? Some men be, and you know, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this, okay? I'm just going to say it. All right? I'm keeping it PG-13 for the kids. But you need to, I, I'm the kind of girl, if I, if I don't trust you, and I'm not I'm talking about trusting you not to cheat on me. I'm talking about trusting you with my kitty. You can't touch me. Uh-uh. 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 You ain't about to blow my pipes out. No. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. See, back when I was younger, I used to give him a chance. But see, I was that girl. I was that young girl. I got to see you. He like, he like, he like, uh-uh. Put it in the air. Throw the air in the air. No, because I can't see you or stop you. I need to see you face to face. I'll be just like this on my back with my fist, just like this. Why your fist balled up? Nothing, baby. I'm just so excited. I'm preparing to punch you in the throat. You do too much. I was that girl just like this. I'm like this, okay? Y'all know me. Y'all know how I'm built. Okay, I will fight you. Okay, I will fight you. Don't play with me. Okay? All right, and I did that, honey. I did that. I'll tell you a story another time. But honey, I'll give you a bridge version of it. He wasn't he wasn't respecting the cat. Honey, treating treating this kitty cat like 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 I was a professional girl. I'm not a professional girl. I respect my girls, my professional girls. I'm not a professional girl. See what I'm saying? I'm not a working girl. I don't my pipes ain't built like that. Trying trying to throw me around like that. I, I said, uh uh no, nah, nah, I got you. Honey. Uh uh-uh. uh he's like, just look at him. You, this, this what you want. No, I didn't want that. So I said, he ain't listen, baby. I gave him a good one to that chest. It's like, ow, I, ow. He's like, he's like <laughs> I think I punched him in the neck back. So I, think I, I think I hit his Adam's apple on purpose. And he was like, I, I'm so baby. I'm sorry, sorry, baby. That was a reflex. It was, it was, I'm sorry, that was a reflex. It really wasn't. All right. Can we stop? Let's take a break. So for his sake and for mine, I ain't wired like that. See what I'm saying? I'm real about mine. Some of y'all be one of these old tree trunk men. I don't need that. I don't need that at this stage of my life. I don't need that at this stage of my life. Okay? Give me husband size. See what I'm saying? I don't know what y'all talking about. He got to be built like this. Not me, girl. Uh Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, sir. I'm not trying to be limping all day. I'm uh uh-uh. uh uh uh-uh. not no sir no ma'am no sir I need to be set right okay I like my stuff right all right now y'all go if y'all go to the global good coochie council um if y'all go to their national head, headquarters go to the national headquarters uh huh we have a convention this year too I'm the keynote okay if you come to our convention this year you see what I'm saying um. And y'all see my plaques, okay? 20 years in a row. 20 years in a row. I won the most snatched. Miss Snatched Award, actually. And it's not talking about my waistline. Okay? But you know how you got to keep your stuff snatched? I'm not letting these men run all up and through you. All right? And if you with a man who got, who got a, little, a little size on him, he can't get that every day unless you're married to him. You can't be let. You cannot be no single girl letting no man with no size get you too too much, cause then your stuff ain't right. Then when you meet the man who's actual marriage material and he trying to test the waters, he thinking that, that, that he he thinking that you done been ran through. You ain't been ran through. You just gave Laquan too much. You let Laquan be a regular, and Laquan shouldn't have been a regular. Laquan is once a month. You know the thing with Laquan, he he can come over once a month. And when he leave, you better have your Epsom salt bath ready. You better have your Epsom salt bath ready. Y'all know what I'm talking about. All right? Uh-uh, no, sir. You better be doing your muscles, your exercises, too. Do your muscles. Do your muscles. Do your exercises. You can't be letting that. You need Curtis. Y'all know what I'm talking about when I say Curtis. Curtis is a nice man. 
He's built in a nice bill. He's built, he's built, he's, he's got a respectful bill. Okay, you can't come in, come in with old disrespectful stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Some, some men are just built disrespectfully. All right? And that's all right for, for the occasional Friday night. But you can't live with that. You need Curtis. He's, he's built respectfully. And he got a respectful rhythm to him, too. Keep the beat. Keep the rhythm. Keep the beat. Keep the now occasionally he may occasionally he may take you to the bridge. Keep the bitch. Oh, keep the beat. <laughs> keep the rhythm. Keep the beat. Keep the then he'll go back. Keep the beat. Keep the rhythm. See, Curtis is respectful. He's not gonna do too much. I like Curtis. Respectfully built. With a respectful rhythm. Mm-hmm. Not Laquan. Not Laquan coming in here. You know what I'm saying? Laquan come through, baby. It ain't even no. It's boom, 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 boom. Ah! And you be loving every minute of it. But girl, you already know. Girl, you already know. Girl, you already know. I can't deal with Laquan. Child had me Laquan back in the day, honey. Girls, uh-huh, from Torrance. And girl, he used to drive all the way from Torrance to the valley for me. Yes, he did. I lived way up in the valley back there. And he used to drive all the way to the valley for me. And you know that is not a short drive, honey, all right? He used to drive. Laquan would drive, honey. He would come all the way up there for me. And I knew why, honey. Because I got the, I'm snatched. 20 years running, okay? All right? I know what I got. He come in there. I can let him come over that often. He got once a month. He'd be so mad at me. One time even, he came over. He's like, baby, why don't you ever let me, come on, just let me spend a night just once. So I would let him drive all the way from Torrance, way up there, right? I was up near Toluca Lake, girls. Drive way up there. And I would send his ass back home at 3 o'clock in the morning. You ain't going to let me spend a night for real? I was like, uh-uh. He wasn't drinking. He wasn't smoking. You going home. Why? Because you done tore my walls off. Okay? And you going to want some more in the morning. Because my kitty's good. But I can't, t- I can't handle that. I'm built respectfully. I'm built respectfully. I'm built like a wife. You can't do that to me. Uh, so you got to take your ass home because I know how these men do. And, 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 and you know, and Laquan was, he was younger than me. Laquan was younger than me. I was abroad in her early 30s. Laquan was hitting on 20 something. So he had, he had stamina. I like, you ain't done yet. You know, we start asking, you done? You close? You close? You close? Nah, baby, I'm enjoying it, but I'm not no more. They be like, I'm, men don't get the hint, do they? You be like, you close, you close. Uh, you trying to say it all cute and, and sexy, like, ooh, you close, ooh, you close. And he be like, nah, I'm enjoying it. I'm not. Men, if we ask, no, you close. That's code for we not enjoying it no more. That's code for I've, I'm ready to put in my Uber Eats order because the curry out is going to close within about 15 minutes. I need to put my order in because if you put it in five minutes before they close, it's going to cancel my order. Okay? All right? I want my chicken wings. All right? So are you done? Okay? The fuck? We don't need to do all this. Okay? It's code for, baby, you are, you are not built respectfully. All right? I like being disrespected by you, but this is too much. This is too much. Okay? That's what I'm talking about. Hurry up. Hurry up. Cat about to fall off. My cat is dead. Dead to the world. Okay? Talking about he want to change this. No, we not changing positions. I got this. is the only one I got in me. We done. We done. You see what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And that's another thing. Can we talk about this for a minute? I'm just airing my grievances. I'm airing my grievances. That's right, Bulldog. I want my chicken wings. Okay? I be thinking about it. I want my sweet tea. If it's too late, I'm just going to get lemonade. So my, my chicken wings, some fries. I get cute and have a salad so I can feel like I'm not being fat. You know, but I don't, I don't put a lot of energy in. Like I said, my training, girls, I don't just lay this. So I, I need to refuel. But no, let's talk about this, okay? Man, can y'all stop changing positions when we already liking it? We be liking it. And the thing that y'all don't understand, y'all be wanting to try out different positions like this, the Olympics. This ain't the Olympics. This is my, my coochie's not a stadium. Okay, you don't get to do different shit on me. Okay, especially you big boys. You know what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about big and by. I'm talking about big and you know who. You know, 
certain positions don't work for y'all. Same with the little ones, but especially the big ones. Certain positions don't work for y'all. Y'all be wanting me to do stuff. I'm like, baby, you. one thing you're not going to do is walk out the door with my spleen. All right, you about to, no, you can't do that to me. No, you cannot do that to me. Hell no. Baby, why don't we try it? Like this, no. No. Yes, my ankles go to my ears, but no, I'm not letting you do that. All right? Trying to kill me. Uh-uh, you're not going to kill me today. No, sir, you're not. And on the flip side, the other months are little ones. No, we know you little. We lie to you and tell you we don't, but we know you little. We know you little. We can see. We're looking at it. We know. Oh, baby, I hope this is enough for you. It's just right. It's just right for me. But let's not play no games with this, okay? There's certain things you can't do to me, okay? Certain ways you can't go. See the way I'm built. You can't do certain things. So you got to know your place. Men on both ends, you got to know your place. We love you either way. Don't we love them either way, girls? We love them either way. They be so insecure about their stuff. And we love you either way. We really do. We love you no matter what. But know your place. Know your place. All right? When you got that old disrespectful built on you. No. Yes, my knees go back that far. But I don't trust you with my knees back that far. Okay? I need to see you eye to eye and have some control. One man told me that years ago. He said, he said you'll never give up control. It's because I don't trust you with my kitty. I don't trust you with my kitty just yet. You, you always want to be in control. Yes, I do. Why don't men get the hint? I don't trust you with my kitty. Girls, they don't get the hint. We don't trust them with our kitty. Not 100%. You got to earn the trust. Just because we trust you enough to go there don't mean we trust you enough to run it the right way. Y'all see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? You get where I'm going. Right? Uh-huh. Let me see here. Anyway, y'all, I got shit to do. I got places to go. I got people to see. I got a shower too, honey. All right? I got up this morning when I got me some lunch. But I have, I got things I got to do. Okay? I love y'all. I love you. You want to watch this? It's going to be on YouTube. And I need you. Baby, I love you. I do. Bye.